Mercedes hold the record of the most consecutive constructors title with eight times been on top of the standings between 2014 and the 2021 seasons. The team worked on different types of cost technologies during these years. However, during the 2020s winter testing, the German manufacturers released a developed car system which was qualified then as a very clever and innovative solution. Silver Arrows made all the headlines on press and social media, the dual access steering or dust system, system that changed the perspective of the game before being banned by the FIA for the 2021 season and it was never used again. To be another one of many technological innovations in Formula 1 competitions, to be banned just after a short period of use. So what is this technology? Why it is so helpful for the Mercedes at that time? What are the real reasons behind the Formula 1 governing body's decision of banning it? Don't go far, keep on watching guys, we'll be explaining all for you. For the summer break, we would like to take the chance to a broad topics in Formula 1 that will help you as Formula 1 fan especially if you are a new one. We'll help you get better what is going around technically. Stay tuned a series of new videos treating Formula 1 technical information are on the way. So subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to guarantee you'll be receiving all our new videos. Invite your friends if they are interested in such a theme. So according to the Formula 1 evolving rules, some teams may create some piece of technology on their car and it might be banned later on by the FIA, the dust system or the dual access steering. This system changed a lot, not only concerning the steering angle of the wheels, but also the toe angle between them. We will be treating this subject to help you understand better why this system was great innovative technology Silver Arrow came up with and at the end we'll be revealing why the FIA took the decision to ban it. But first, we'll be obliged to pass by the toe and understand what a toe is. Speaking technically, toe is actually a part of the suspension setup being adjusted for each particular track. Why? Because it describes the angle of the wheels relative to the direction of the car. So applying this concept, wheels with a zero toe will point straight ahead. Wheels with positive toe will point inwards in the direction of the center line of the car, while wheels with a negative toe will just point in outwards the center line of the car. To understand better this theory, we'll be explaining it in a simple way. How may changing toe affects the car's performance on track? Actually, changing toe setups will be a matter of maybe 2 degrees either way at most. And yeah, you think it's super easy and logical just getting the wheels pointing parallel with zero toe and then get them moving left and right together as you steer the wheel. Why would the driver point wheels off center in this case? It's because the toe angle affects other things around. The first thing affected by the toe angle is of course the tire wear. Evidently, having a zero toe that causes front wheels will be pointed straight ahead, which means as the driver runs the car forward, his car's front tire will be just rolling freely on their axis. However, if the tires are splayed out, the inside will be dragging along the track, which will expose the inside of the tree to be heating and wearing. In the same way, if the tires are toe in, think about it guys, the outside of the tire dread will be dragging slightly along the track, which will cause issues with the temperature and the wear that will necessarily have to be managed. If the angles are exaggerated with only a degree of toe, this wouldn't be a huge problem actually. However, this should always be taken in consideration. To minimize wear, drivers might think about keeping to zero toe especially on the straights. A zero toe will give drivers the best straight line speed. If a driver think about introducing toe angle to his front wheels, he's probably wanting to go in a bit different direction than straight ahead. So he will be just wasting power, dragging them along the track instead of free rolling like the previous situation. These details might look banal, but an old Formula 1 fan would surely understand that the race is always played on small details. Another important perspective that you guys may not have an idea about, that you guys may not have an idea about toe on the corners. Zero toe here won't be good a choice actually. When the car is running in corner, the inside tire is always tracing a tighter curve than the outside tire. So when turning radius gets tighter and tighter, the driver will be obliged to steer more and more for this reason and to have more stability through the corners. And to be able to increase his speed and maximize the grip, the inside tire must be more angled through the corner than the outside tire in this case. The driver must add more angling to his front wheel tow outwards. Turning the steering to drive through a corner makes the inside wheel even more aggressively angled to take the tighter line while the outside tire is more gently angled to take the wider outside path. Towing the wheels inward here makes the car less planted through turns as the car is more reluctant to turn the closer the driver gets one tire to the correct steering angle the more he'll be able to point the other way causing drag and resistance at the front end of the car. This actually put us directly into the principal effect of tow which is stability of the car on the straight line. Taking the same concept we use to understand the cornering will be able to understand this concept too. When the tow is out the car will be turning as soon as the driver start to turn the steering as the result wheels are towed and the car will turn in. 
In the other case, where the inside wheel angled aggressively to take the tighter line, which means that when the car is still pointing straight as the driver holds the steering straight, the moment he makes small adjustment away from the center, the car is more sensitive to turning. Holding the steering perfectly centered is actually not very easy, especially when the car is bumping around or one tire hits a crack in the road, a small discomfort can make the car go left and right. On the contrary, when the front wheels are towed in, they are reluctant to turn. So in this case, they will actually make more time to steering inputs, which means the car will remain stable on the straight, even with the bumps or any concerns in the steering. Teams then should lock in a tow settings. Mercedes, by introducing this technology, have managed the situation without breaking the rules. Silver arrows give their drivers the control to adjust the tow angle while driving, just pulling back and pushing forward on the steering wheel. Mercedes, with the dust system, give the driver the chance to pull back on the steering wheel and bring the tow in, push forward on the wheel to pull the tow out. This technology had actually many consequences, starting with the most important one, which is they have the ability to straighten up the tires for the straight, as well as increasing the speed, reducing wear, and rising temperature of the inside tire tread. This isn't all in fact. The dust gave the car more stability while pulling the tow out for corners for increased handling and speed, which is amazing. A new Formula 1 fan would understand the concept and wonder why making things complicated when having a simple way to rule it, suggesting zero toe for straights and negative toe for corners. However, things aren't that much easy. Corners are extremely different. With the dust, Mercedes driver can and manage the toe perfectly for every different type of corners. A huge toe out for tighter corners because the relative difference between the inner and the outer lines is more remarkable. Another consequence which should not be taken as a negative thing because it is in fact a positive one. It is the rise temperature of tire. The increased heat in the rubber has actually a significant importance in the car's performance, especially when it's the right amount of heat. Having this system allowed Mercedes driver to having control on this too, which is a clear advantage for them, particularly when on outlaps to prepare the tire for a hot lap or more in a mid-race having the outside rubber a little bit cold, Silver Arrow's driver were able to tow in to try having that part of the tire into the sweet spot. Was it considered as legal and what are the real reasons behind the FIA's decision banning this technology after one season of its release? Guys, if you're enjoying this video, drop a like down there, consider subscribing to our channel if you find our content informative. So yeah, this short-lived concept was legal during the 2020 season, however, the Formula 1 governing body decided to ban it starting from the following season 2021 other teams couldn't actually get to produce its test version. So this technology was only related with Mercedes name because Silver Arrows were the only team to use it. Unlike some rumors, the dust technology was banned due to cost concerns. This system needed a high cost to be developed, while Formula 1 managers always make sure costs remain down and try to manage how to keep them at that level, also to create a game level where all teams can participate in. So the final decision was to ban it as they were afraid it would add some unjustified costs. If you're a Mercedes fan, tell us about your opinion concerning this high-cost technology. Tell us in the comment section what are the technical topics you want us to analyze for you in the coming videos. Don't forget to invite your friends and Formula 1 fans around you to watch this video. If you're looking for a good Formula 1 content, consider subscribing to our channel. We do our best to provide you with the fresh news and updates. That was all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.